for this study. We're looking at So Done by Kid Laroy. It's a really cool song. It starts off with like a reggae rhythm with the rap artist. That's a nice combination. It's done in a ukulele as well. It's got some new chords, F sharp minor, finger one, fret one, string three, middle finger straight to the top, second fret, ring finger also second fret, second string from the bottom. Then it goes to A and that's a really nice transition because all you do is lose the ring finger. But be careful because when I'm strumming it, you'll notice the pinky jumps up to fret 7 for one note. And you'll hear that chord, listen for that chord in the back track. Then after that E and D. You'll notice I'm not doing the full D as we normally do mainly because little fat fingers that I have done allow me to do this. So if yours do and you can play inside there, that's the bonus. The same is for the E. But enough of that, I'm going to be playing the easy one and I want to jam along with the backtrack. So F sharp minor is in place, put the song on and watch it for the pinky maneuver. Here we go. really well now on the typical sort of reggae rhythm there are about two or three basic reggae rhythms but this is obviously the most commonly used ones very popular for reggae got my F sharp minor and listen for the silent pauses also your counting for reggae is quite important so on the count of one nothing happens on the two and you strum so two beat down the and after that the upstroke so if you were to count in slow your reggae would sound something like this. Two and three and four and one and two and three. And then on the fourth beat, down again. So one bar F sharp minor. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. We got that. What I sometimes find really helps a lot as well is on the first beat, maybe a tap. So you go two, three, four, tap and two and three and four. And the tap gives a nice rhythm feel to it as well. So if you like that, you can notice it's basically just my thumb literally slapping across all four strings that also helps me get that silence. Let's do it again. Two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. So basically to summarize with reggae, on the beats of one and three, you're tapping like I demonstrated and on the two and as well as the four, you've got the strum. Now, when it goes to the A, watch the slow motion. I've lost the ring finger because I've changed from F sharp minor. It's going to go 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and... So on the 4, you're going to go 4. And this time, you're going to go up on the AND as well. So one more time with the A. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and... And it sounds really cool, that. So try that. It's a bit of a stretch. And to get that stretch working... If my thumb was here, my pinky honestly can't get there. It's just really not, not long enough. But if I drop my thumb, my pinky can actually get a long lot further forward than necessary. So the trick is, from the back, you can see my thumb is sort of halfway across. See a nice angle of where the thumb's position is. And that in turn allows me to get to fret number 7 for the A chord for, for this drum. Now, the E, as we mentioned earlier... We're not going to strum the top string, so what I do is I rest my thumb. So the thumb there is resting, you can see, on that string. So I can strum everything, and it works quite well. But if I take my thumb off, listen how bad this is. That sounds terrible. So my thumb catches the top string, and everything works really well. And to change to the D, I simply just release the first finger, slide back, and do the same now for the D I actually have got a choice I can either do this if I want to as well and now I can actually fret that top string so if I want to I can actually let my thumb play that string you can see there so I'm not muting it this time I'm doing that so it's a nice technique if you want to get a slightly fuller sound for the D and as I said if you wanted to you can play the E like this with all three fingers in the fourth fret 
but it's really really a squeeze especially with the smaller yukis if you've got a bigger yuki very much easier to do and the same when you go to the a as well so i'm thinking guitar now when you go to d you can do fingers two three four or one two and three provided you feel comfortable and as we said the bigger the yuki the easier it is to do now this song over here it's a, such a lacquer song but there's no real changes so i'm going to sort of pick up where we left off and you can hear that the chords stay the same here we go So when the drums join, the rhythm still stays the same. And you'll notice that when I'm doing the A, I automatically get my pinky really close to that 7th fret. So when I change across, that my fingers are really up there for that 7th fret. So don't leave it for the last minute and then jump, because that last minute jump could end up strumming the wrong fret. So when you go from the F sharp minor, to the A, get your pinky pre-positioned, in other words, close to the 7th fret for And it's going to work really, really well. That's the song. Quick study, easy study, nice study for exams. <laughs> okay. So if you're looking for just a song to play, just to fall some time, and it's a really good one to play for your friends, play by yourself, um, this is a good one to go for. Enjoy it. Have an awesome day. Thank you.